the thing. We are just playing this level in Mussolini mode, but also in reverse. It's complete with all your favorites from two minutes ago. Only this time, we have to stop Andrew Ryan from making another water park. Hey, Jack, would you kindly test out this golf club for me? Said Abby's father to Abby and thus she dreamt of once becoming the world's greatest golf player. Oh. No foreshadowing. <laughs> How's it going people? Merry Christmas and very soon Happy New Year and welcome to another reaction to an incorrect summary of Max Wars. Yeah! This one is one that we've been waiting for for quite some time. This is Act 2 of Ultra Kill, a game that made, I'll say, a rough estimate of like 80% of Doom editors uh, put down the boomstick and install a revolver in the Vampiric Nikon instead. For those of you who may be wondering where is the second part of my gameplay of this game, Mm -mm. Let's just say that by editing it, it too corrupted my drive. And also, there are such things as the achievements for, like, for example, the perfect door. That I am not willing to showcase my chase for them on screen, okay? The shame. <laughs> but let's just get into this video. Bop. Bop. This video is uh, really normal, I swear. Machine. Bingo. Lust. All gone, with gluttony soon to follow. Oh my god, Gianni. Your kinds know nothing but hunger, purged all life on the upper layers, and yet they remain unsatiated. As to you, you've taken everything from me, machine, and now all that remains is perfect hatred. Hey there everyone, it's me, your favorite true crime content creator, back at it again with a new crazy prank. I'm gonna keep this one brief since this video is a ultra kill. If you haven't played it, that's great, watch my videos. I think Just it's play the G best game ever made. You know, most games nowadays kind of look like... It's so beautiful, I have to roll the gotcha. Ultra kill doesn't do that, instead we get fucking insane developers. Nah. Welcome to the game where blood is fuel, the hell is full, and a fumo destroys the earth. It's a uh, oh yeah, the hamster. Look up on the pyramids and think that would be a crazy slide. Do you feel bad about missing out on the Titanic, or are you a simple man who wants to fish peacefully? If so, then uh, <laughs> I guess this game counts. And uh, I'm going to spread misinformation about it. You know, I think there's a reason this takes place in hell, but I can't exactly put my finger on it. My goofy ass actually bought this. Like, yeah, I'm ready for some normal games. Oh. It's the SFM guy who did uh, the uh, goddamn uh, the JoJo's with those statues, right? He did the Pillar Man, <laughs> a literal Pillar Man SFM. That was genius. Surprise! Bitch. <laughs> Welcome back to Act 1. I'm starting this review with time travel. Basically, I was browsing the internet a few seconds ago when I happened upon arcane information. You know, after I changed the wiki page. As it turns out, King Minos is not a rich man. I think it's a bad idea to spend uh -oh. your entire city budget on bisexual lighting. This presents a problem for us because, uh... Well, I can't really ask him to pay. So if I can't charge his body, then goddammit, I'm going to charge his soul. Nobody escapes the wrath of the IRS. That is where this level comes in. Or rather, all of them. This oh, yeah. represents every level. And if you don't complete them perfectly, then it doesn't open. Your Trust mask me, I tried flip and was cast into the void. That means no mistakes, no time, no checkpoints. We're using the video game alphabet. And because every copy of this game is personalized, we've got a lot of levels to beat. I'm sure this is exactly what Hikita wanted. This is a freaking madman for making this. It was me, Barry. I'm the one who posted the Moai emoji. This level has this cool <laughs> speedrun strat called, uh, soap. Better watch yeah. out, Genshin players. Uh, I messed up the soap one. Please, anything but this. It's making my synapses look like a rave. I'm going to abbreviate Cyberpunk. <laughs> Biggest mistake of my life. Rake the leaves up, Samurai. <laughs> How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? 
No shit, it's this guy again. I'm going to send you back to God. Hey, can you make change for this? Oh. <laughs> How can this Shut up. <laughs> this was not worth it. I say to my no. Bitcoin assassin. So the next level starts and it's in Japan. There's this secret boss named Hatsune Miku. Then we open her up like a can of sardine. No, actually, it's no, a spider no. staircase. They call it the Minus spine Prime. Bike. What on God's green earth is that? Okay, Flash Prison is not difficult. Fun. Welcome to HP Minecraft. The fucker's using creative mode. <laughs> this boss is here to teach your limbs how to file restraining orders. And to do that, he's got a lot of shit to dodge. I like to call it Toho's Bizarre Adventure. Okay, so to be fair, <laughs> the, the Flash Prison is not that difficult. Going round in circles will do the job most of the part. What? Wait, that sentence was not congruent at all. <laughs> now, his attacks might not seem that bad until you have to dodge all of them at once. I don't know what those things are doing, but uh... Oh, it's worse. So on top yeah, of some heal. 9 billion eyeballs, the fucker uses them to heal. Oh my god, he's fucking doing it. No. I uh, hope you're a good shot, because I'm certainly not. To beat this boss, we need to target the healthcare system, just like Ronald Reagan, preferably using heavy ordinance. This guy's looking like a looking oh. like a square. I really wasn't expecting to fight the Kaba today. Oh my fucking god, I'm speedrunning a migraine. I almost forgot that I was in the hell. Kaba. Flesh is not supposed to be hard, unless I'm reading a certain something. I'm really into this game for the good story. So his attacks are plentiful, but thankfully we can can overcome this boss by using a cool new secret called trial and error. Tell your friends about it. And although this basic geometry could be a little hard, our journey has definitely prepped us. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be introducing his skull to the concept of a circle. And then comes goddamn Minus Prime. Jesus fucking Christ. A literal One Punch Man villain who comes off doing the I have a dream speech. And I'm saying that rightfully, because he goes with the free at last draws every single sentence that he has to say. He didn't take it very well. Excuse me, what the fuck? Ah, free at last. Hey, I'm here for the uh, outstanding balance. I spent all of it on perks. Oh, it's Badger. My blood is a controlled substance in 39 states. Excuse me? I have personally killed 12 trillion people. That doesn't sound very fun. Oh, on the fucking contrary. contrary. Oh, the edit. I maxed out nine credit cards for my fucking perks. <laughs> hey guys, Maxor here. Back from the secret government beef fights. I was trying to drink the airport jungle juice. <laughs> and today, we're going to be fighting the only boss entirely accessible in Gary's mod. This was a deliberate choice by the publishers to include DLC. Isn't nature just gymnastic? It's Minus amazing. Prime is not an easy boss. You're going to be quite familiar with all of his attacks because he will not stop screaming them. Moves such as judgment, die, thy end is now, I will have order. These attacks will bookend your obituary and they will do it really fucking <laughs> fast. And yes, that is why the video looks bad. This game is no longer a first person shooter. It's Melania, Blade of Michelin. <laughs> you are scary, don't you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Time to learn. This is the first boss ever designed to be fought in your peripheral vision. I played this at grandpa's funeral and he started beating the shit out of the toaster. <laughs> P-ranking the game was not a test. It was a warning. <laughs> so if I were to give advice, it would be to listen. This little shit is hard and you're going to die a little bit. However... Oh yeah, I died like 25 times doing this boss. He announces them quite loudly. Jesus Christ. So if he seems difficult, that is a skill issue. One that makes your camera look like it's in the washing machine. <laughs> Ultimately, Minos is a noble soul, and he's going to give you a noble death. What you do in between is up to you. But if there was a crime I was willing to forgive, it would definitely be public embezzlement. In fact, it isn't a crime at all. It's an obligation. So how's about I uh, help him with his investments? Oh no. There is an obligation too. Forgive me. Who's gonna pay for his people. credit? For I have failed you. Creature of steel, you have shown me the error of my ways. W really? <laughs> of course not. You can prime my prescription for my cold, dead hands, bitch. I'll take my crypto to the airport. Wow. He's a crypto, bro. Well, that was normal. Almost as normal as his, uh, <laughs> entertainment. And all it took was, uh, a few tries. <laughs> Well, that's just about normal. Got him. Start as crusaders. 
Egypt. We're here to find fucking Dio. This level represents a great increase in heat since apparently the sun exists. This is news to me. We're here with the Stardust Crusaders to uncover the secret past of the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid. And one of those secrets looks kind of, uh, what is it doing? Looks kind of bright. I want to introduce you to my favorite enemy, the Light of Allah. Your location is irrelevant, and so is theirs. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, it will find you. And yeah. it will be Discord light theme. Oh my god, it's a sex offender summoning circle. Do not t tell Twitter. Hang on a second. I think this is... Oh, oh shit it is. This is the best game ever made. I fucking love Coinstar. Dude, the developer was goaded for doing this. Imagine that you can bounce your railgun, four of them, on a bloody coin. That's genius, man. This is why indies are taking over AAA. They know how to gratify the gaming experience. I'm going to teach you motherfuckers a smithin' lesson. This is just like my favorite movie, Bible Shrek. Ramses, let my people in. <laughs> no, 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 it can't be. The British are real. <laughs> the game wants you to make a bridge, so just uh, do a slam storage long jump. If you do it wrong, you'll ascend to heaven. Wait, so what happens if I pick up two of them? Oh, I'm not oh, sure yeah. like that. Nobody helps me do the dishes in this fucking house. So that means if I get another one, then... Yep. Jesus Christ, I, I can't hear anything. So we finish playing Squidward mode, and instead move on to more enriching activities, such as... Hurricane Cyber. Fuck, I need that to sleep. Oh, man. This boss just has a rock, and apparently a flexible schedule. This rock server <laughs> fucking sucks. His main attacks are jumping and beating you with a rock. You know, it's Yao like Ming. Me, when I see an ableist online, I am a canist. So, this fight is weird, but don't worry. He doesn't have to stay there. You might be able to run away, temporarily. So, uh, <laughs> jump height scales with distance. Oh, God. He's coming. My brother in Christ, this is the spawn. Jesus, that's the actual noise it's making. Oh god, there's a Palestinian in the elevator. <laughs> yeah, this seems pretty normal to me. I think he's gone. Oh, machine. Are you hiding? What? <laughs> so yeah, it's a pretty cool boss, I guess. I love playing five evenings of free drinks. Guys, Max, we're here, and in this video, we're going to be trapped under the Denver airport. <laughs> they uh, didn't turn on the lights. So, this is the dark level. You can tell because of the gameplay. This yeah. seems a little familiar. I am fucking lost. These encounters are very spooky because you literally don't know what's in the room with you. It could be anything. It could be anyone. Hey guys, Mr. Beast here, and today I've hidden $40,000 inside your skin. And the first one to tear it off wins. My favorite moment is when we enter Ramsey's nuclear reactor. I love playing inside the seizure room. It's the best. Heading backwards into the... Adrenochrome harvesting. We come upon something that chilled me to the bone. Oh, the yeah. YouTubers. We've got... He got Mandalore. How? Who got that planned? Vine sauce, Markiplier, other people. And one day, my channel will join them. Six feet under. Who the fuck is knocking on my tomb? Do you know what time it is? Is that Mandalore? That's right, this isn't a cameo. Mandalore is yet to answer my emails. The devs put a YouTuber in the game as a boss, and they gave him a total of two attacks. Full auto and fuller auto. Only real Mandalore heads will get this one. But despite all of that, this is actually very fun. It feels as janky as it sounds, and I'm all for it. <laughs> Plus, it's harder than like half the bosses in the game. Fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, they coded the game that way. This is just the best shit ever made. So, uh, welcome everyone to Tennessee. We've got t-shirts, men's apparel, but general <laughs> hunting, high camping, marine center, bass pro shops. That's my way of saying we're in a pyramid. It's just, uh, something feels a little bit off about this place. Oh, well, Cloud I'm de sure Soleil. to worry about. Hello, brother. No, fuck. Oh, no, no. You have something of mine. Something very important. Can you please speak like a normal person? Give me my fucking hand <laughs> back. this for a trade? I beat you into a fucking cult. Will you give me my arm back? Oh, and it finishes with the best slide ever. Oh my god, he's literally me. We're so much alike. <laughs> 
Welcome to the most psychotic shit in a video game. I've said it before and will say again. This fight is not made for humans. You know, like my videos. We're supposed to be killing each other with rocks. I quit using meth for good. Now I use it for evil. This fight is very similar to last time, except much worse. Now he moves as fast as me, if I was good at the game. But thankfully, I am not. This shit is like speedrunning Carpal Tunnel. What's the matter, brother? Oof. Does your arm hurt? Because I can fix that! It is a challenge to look in V2's direction, let alone shoot him. But thankfully, for those of us who can't aim, there is a solution. Oh, you mother... But that's right. If you want to shoot your coins for you, and what's worse, he could toss them too. Meaning, half the battle is a slap fight with Nichols. Oh. I came here to play a shooter, not a fucking constellation. This shit is like a cartoon battle in a dust cloud. And if that wasn't fast enough for you, don't worry. You can enrage V2 at any time by punching him with his own arm. You motherfucker! He loves it when you do that. Ultimately, V2 could be easy or he could be hard. Easy in that he's limited by your moveset, but hard in that he's only limited by your moveset. We've learned so much during our journey, and unfortunately, so is he. But we have grown in the one way that V2 never could, emotionally. So how's about we teach him how to cope with failure, the old-fashioned way? Dude, okay. Do you realize how long the pinning light, the extrusion, and all of the things that he uses for the, the few sequences that we've had in like the last two minutes would have taken somebody to do? And he uses fucking Premiere. And After Effects and Photoshop. Notoriously known for not keeping up with your hardware. Premiere is fucked. I should really change software, but I'm too used to it. I will give you the pleasure of killing me! You get back here right this fucking instant. Gotta get away! Gotta get away! Oh no! Your oh, yeah. form is incredible! Dude, the slide that the horse made here is exceptional. I had such a blast. I did that like on purpose three times just to re experience that again and again. Well, so dope. And of course, then you get the grapple hook. Is he okay? <laughs> You thought I would skip this, didn't you? No, I was merely waiting for nighttime. You know, like Skyrim? I'm a big fan of the horror gameplay. Come here, buddy. There he is. Make sure to walk your dog every day. Now I'm free to do all <laughs> kinds of things, like gazing upon the false sun, climb the Eiffel Tower, this is the texture, and uh, trapping my dog in hell. His sins are yet to be forgiven. I think it's best if we just leave him to it. Oh uh, no. This is not good. Hey guys, welcome the to crash my level. original game. I'm finding it, I'm, I'm finding it a bit of an adjustment. I mean, what do you want me to say? It's literally just Hash Brown Acute. The Wrath of God is pretty new though. They even have my favorite character, Bad Depth Perception. Gee, I wonder what this section's gonna be like. Oh god, it's the funny rock again. Stop <laughs> posting about the rock, I'm tired of seeing it. In the future, all humor will be randomly generated. So yeah, this part is actually really good. I haven't played something like this since Uncharted 4. Hey guys, it's me, Nathan Drake, and um, Subway. I think it's if we just kind of, you know, move on. The simulation is beginning to break down. Hey guys, Max over here. Back at it again. Yeah, the water Chinese level. Lines. The children love it. It's just like Minecraft. So you guys remember V2, right? You really hate it. A long time. Well, he really gave us a hand. Again, this is the grappling hook, and it's really good at bypassing the entire game. It's also quite simple. You either catch the fish, or the fish catches you. It can lead to some odd results. So we head through the halls of the Jiangxi Copper Company, at which point I accidentally <laughs> fell into the weaker disposal shaft. So, uh, welcome to the water level. And by water, I mean fucking moon gravity. I really like how all the audio sounds like it's in the other room. In yeah. this mission, we need to locate the bodies by navigating a series of infamous cave disasters, all with gameplay indistinguishable from a flight simulator. You know, as far as water levels go, this is not horrible. It's just a little bit... No, it's quiet. actually... It's like, okay. I don't okay. like my own thoughts. Zoomers want to take away their TikTok during Grandma's funeral. Also of note in this level is the new Chris Kyle enemy. <laughs> okay. Okay, I was about to argue how that very level reminded me of Dead Space a bit, but then... <laughs> and let me guess what, you're the child this time. <laughs> but unfortunately, that makes you the Afghani child. Yeah. Take your time, fellas, JFK isn't going anywhere. Oh my fucking god. This is actually how they die. SCP, this one. Where to go? I think it's uh, time to leave. Don't touch any what? So, uh, welcome to the next yeah. level. Yeah. In two years, the entire landscape is a highway to Disney World. So, much like the real Florida, this level design is on crack. The space is a little limited, just like the real Miami. It kind of feels like I'm fighting homeless men on stilts. <laughs> we enter a completely normal cabin where there is an invincible enemy because he is. 
<laughs> I liked your consistency. He did mention Ted Krasinski last time, right? So he keeps he keeps it consistent. I like that. There is an invincible enemy because he is an empath. We need to destroy his psychic link to progress. Trust me, guys, you don't want to face God on the astral plane. As an empath myself, I can sense when enemies die. Also integral to this level is up. The Titanic. Oh, no. Resurrecting the Titanic, Jack was sent to hell for his immorality. Normally, of course, you would board the ship so that this guy can kill you for not having a ticket. But if you take a second to explore, you might just find the... the hamster. hamster. <laughs> what? This was just the beginning. Next, we're going to be flying backwards across the map. Man, this game's movement is wacko. Naturally, of course, the next step is a sheer cliff face. And with enough explosive ordnance, we can finally reach the... Fumo Demon. And it just so happens that we have the perfect sacrifice. Oh, no. Oh no. Thank you. Now I shall lay waste to this world. The 2D I will end up. What have I done? Crushing my game. So dumb. It crashes the game. I think now's a good time to mention that uh, this game is official bump report. It vibrates in response to damage. Machine. The developers put out a patch on your prostate now. Oh, this would be perfect. This would be perfect for gacha players. Forget chess, forget poker. We need to implement this for everybody who's playing Genshin. Yo, EU Commission? Uh, I don't know how, where you are at with your laws and regulation, but uh, just a tip. So we decide to board the all-expenses-paid cruise to Ohio, and that pisses off the guy with the comically large spoon. The same guy that you can pay to skip the boss fight. I'll give you three quarters to fuck off. As we can see, King Bach has presented a rather large spoon to his friend. This shit is like if Garmin wanted ice cream, but you told him that he could only have a spoonful. No, but seriously, this boss is very simple. When you can actually see him, it's pretty much just a matter of dodging his very patient attacks. It's a real shame he's a member of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> So after four seconds of very adverse weather, I finally decide to kill a man the only way I know how. The fucking spaghettification. Yeah. What the dies so horribly. Oh my god, that's how he dies. Okay, bye. Team Rocket is blasting off again. A perfect soundtrack for this. Hey guys, welcome back to the Costa Concordia. I swear to god that isn't foreshadowing. Our ship is making great headway straight down. Jesus Christ, not this shit again, dude. Uh, attention passengers, if you look to your right, you'll see the uh, fucking kaiju. There might be some turbulence. Oh my god, I can't believe it. They added a Scooby-Doo level to the game. The sweet life on deck really went downhill after season two. Mr. Mosby. <laughs> So this is the wacky level. You can tell because my screen looks like cloud vomit. Genuinely, uh, what's happening? This gameplay looks like how Coke smells. Well, thank God that's out of the way. Looks like it's gonna be, uh... Oh man, this level was so insane. I can't imagine the creativity that goes on in this guy's head. The developer, that is. To go so far as to give you a fight against a bleach summon. <laughs> I mean, it's literally Ranger's bank hide that you're fighting against. Smooth sailing from here. I mean, just take a look at the skeleton. I bet nothing gets under his skin. What a nice helmsman this man is. Although sometimes I wonder who's steering the ship. Hey guys, Maxor here, coming at you live from Bikini Bottom. We've been up, trapped inside the world's biggest washing machine. Mr. Mosby has had enough of my bullshit. <laughs> He's turned my entire world upside down. But here's the thing, we are just playing this level in Mussolini mode, but also in reverse. It's complete with all your favorites from two minutes ago. Only this time, we have to stop Andrew Ryan from making another water park. Hey Jack, would you kindly test out this golf club for me? Said Abby's father to Abby, and thus she dreamt of once becoming the world's greatest golf player. Oh. No foreshadowing. <laughs> um, that's not a good sign. So, uh, welcome back to the water level. On today's episode, visiting SpongeBob. This really is the rock bottom experience. You know, it's not the trip I asked for, but, um, it's no. about to get a lot more fucking eventful. After all this time, I've finally made it. Sea World, Ohio.
Welcome to the Bass Pro Shop's final boss. The shampoo <laughs> hasn't been the same since he tried crack. Top 10 episodes of River Monsters. Number three will surprise you. Uh, honey, would you still love me if I was a worm? I bet you're wondering right about now. How does the game balance such a massive fight? Well, it, it does doesn't. Not. There are two different ways to play this boss, and one of them is the wrong way. For instance, you could stay on the platform, dodge his attacks, shoot at him. No, you, you get a right on yeah, that. That would probably kill him. Especially if it was a headshot. Or you can do whatever this shit is. Make sure to walk your dog every day. So, uh, this works precisely how it looks. That is to say, like a really good time. Doesn't this gameplay look fun to you? From this moment onward, the ground is now optional. And no, there is no cooldown. The only limit is how hard you can ball. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably asking yourself, how do I ride this? But not only is this a possibility, it is an optimality. How else am I gonna shoot the screaming child? Just, uh, don't spend too long or you'll be sent to space. Honestly, uh, best boss in the whole game. When I can see him, the ultra kills space. Is this way to play balanced? No. Is it comprehensible? Absolutely not. I'm kind of just figuring things out as I go. But it is definitely very, very fun. And usually, that is all I need. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go fishing the fun way. I don't think that was the fun way. Welcome to Red. Hey there, welcome back to, uh... Red. We've got varied environments. We've got scary environments. We've got enough dick measuring. Now it's time for the durability test. At this point, the game is absolutely done with my shit. The enemy count could be described as generous, especially when their attacks take up a half the room. It's less a difficulty spike and more like a difficulty spear. It really doesn't help that the music uh, sounds like an evil air conditioner. Oh. I forgot this game takes place in hell. This shit looks like I color corrected it. Ultra Kill can have a little hell as a treat. So we make our way through the spaghetti sauce dimension, a twisted arena that will test every skill in your arsenal. But if you're anything like me, then uh, that isn't many of them. I think hell is having to explain my resume. Hello there. Tell me about yourself. What are your weaknesses? Does your house have any weaknesses? My weaknesses are uh, cute girls in my DMs right now. Machine. Uh -uh. Uh -oh. I know you're here. So do I. I can smell the insolent stench of your blood-stained hands. Okay, that's weird. I await you down below. Come to me. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh no, it's the YouTubers. And so far away from a preschool. Oh my god, this is exactly what Akita wanted. Welcome to the, uh, so we enter, uh, this shit is the- Okay, so we're trapped in the Mr. Beast Goon cave. Avoiding no. damage here is going to be a task. This fight is as horrifying as it was last time, and that's only made worse when you add the other previous bosses. I feel like I did something to make them mad. The fuckers stole my retinas, can't have shit in heresy. Ultimately, this is a great way to show just how far we've come as a player, both in damage and in movement. And oh, I mean, shit, this part is like, uh, how much can you fuck up your dopamine receptors? Trust me, this requires a lot of movement. Isn't that right, Ghost Takeda? I knew I could always count on you. I call this one the six foot descent. Aren't you fucking dramatic? The Ooh. audacity of this man. <laughs> Hold on. Barack Obama, the audacity of this bitch. Thoughts on going off on your bitch ass. <laughs> Yo, young Barack is, uh, is somebody who would say something like that. Is this not enough, machine? How much more? Must your kind devour? You are talking to a camera. Do you think this is funny? Do you think it's like a joke? Because I'm not laughing. Cope and seethe. I fucking am. And it's not making me want to kill you less. Uh oh. Now, peak this sick organ so long. Ah. <laughs> uh, Gabriel okay. is so gay. It's nice. Machine, I will cut you down. Break you apart. That's what we call a hate boner. Your profane form across the stars. I will grind you down until the very sparks cry for mercy. My hands shall relish, ending you here and now. Yo, Sonic never fell so hard. That's the infinite soundtrack. <laughs> That's good. More like the prostate of hate, am I right? I'm a creative genius. Welcome to the most spastic shit ever made. A man went to Bible camp for adults. Ecclesiastes 2146. Peter, the horse is here. In our last <laughs> encounter, Gabriel required a lot of patience to beat. Now he requires an act of God. This fight is patience, but faster. That means faster movement, faster attacks, faster commutes to the hospital. And I can't afford healthcare. Gone are the days of having attack windows. We're skipping straight to God. Break that ground in me, machine! And we won't read the Bible stories tonight! 
This shit is more hits than I have dodges, and distance is not going to save you. We need to think about this boss really hard, because this fight is not getting easier. Basically, Gabriel has two different modes, funny mode and racist mode. <laughs> racist mode is the default, just like a barricade police. We need to beat the bigotry out of him by carefully convincing the blood to leave his body. The free speech wins again. So after sufficient logical debate is held between two intelligent parties, Gabriel decides that oh. enough is enough and turns on the lights. Now I can see all my mistakes in perfect detail. This is the funny mode, because Gabriel finds it up. Pretty amusing. I, however, do not. Every attack, every toss, every bullshit sends my camera into a different hemisphere. It's a and bloody anime, it, man. Okay, because he is definitely ready for you. In POV, you ask for the time in London. Needless to say, this fight is wacky, but also really easy. Not for lack of trying, though, but rather because of the many lessons that our journey has given us, and also the uh, the horrifying places that we have been. I'm looking at you, stash trade route. <laughs> Look, what I'm trying to say is V2 makes every game easier. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Is this my blood? I think I broke him. No, machine. I've never felt so alive. You're making uh, this weird again. <laughs> these feelings. I, Did we just I have sex? <laughs> Did we fight or have sex? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one could I get confused. Gross. Gabriel. What you do now is treason. We represent the will of God. <laughs> I've had a long time to think about that, Counselor. And now I realize everything that I had faith in is a lie. You let your faith be shaken by a camera. Face it, brother. A vampiric camera. The fire is long gone. If you kill me, Gabriel, You'll be dead within hours. I know. Oh. Yo, with the Colosseum parts. <laughs> mm. <laughs> wow. This was amazing. These couple of videos had the most zealot of creatures being exposed to the memes of the internet, thus transforming him into a bloody heathen. Bloody great. Bloody great. This is so good. I, I love this so much, man. Congrats to you, Max Orr, for all the progress and the growth of the channel and all of this amazing work that you are putting out there. And uh, yeah, if, if, if you need somebody to do some voice acting, I'm there for it. But that said though, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. As always, please do go and subscribe to Maxwell's channel, like these very videos and watch the other stuff that he has. It's absolutely amazing. And of course, if you like this one, give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. And also, uh, Happy New Year.